What up? It's Jimmy from Odds.com. This clip is from our NCAA basketball breakdown starring Maxwell Smart. To see the whole video, hit that link on the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on Odds.com. And get that cash. Get paid in full. And thanks for watching. Let's keep rolling, Maxi, my man. And what a treat it is to uh, cap with you. And I love this pace. And Max and I, if you guys rolled with us last year, we would break down every single game on the card. And uh, this is a little more relaxed, but still the kind of pace that excites me very much. Let's get to work here, 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you know Max well smart, you know that there's one team that he loves more than all others. And when you know that, it helps it helps when you watch him cap the games that this team plays in. And I'm talking about the Yukon Huskies. Playing at home, where they've started out the year 1-0, Gamble Pavilion, Stores, Connecticut, Hartford Hawks come to town at 8 p.m. And we have the Huskies as 21 and a half or 22 point favorites, the total at 145. 145 and a half or 146, depending on where you shop, Max. Your UConn Huskies in business. Mm. Take it away. 8 p.m. action. UConn, UConn, you sweet bunch of SOBs. <laughs> Let me tell you this, Jim. I got a little worried against Central Connecticut State. Daniel Marshall had his boys ready to go, ready to play. Did. But I'll tell you this. R.J. Cole has been waiting the whole year to play. And he got in the lineup. He put some work in. And 17 points later, UConn won by margin, covered the spread. Game flew over. And UConn won. So tonight um, against Hartford, well, the plain and basic fact is there's no Malik Ellison. There's no Tracy Carter. What is Hartford going to do? Hartford doesn't have a guy that can give you 20-something, 10 rebounds. They don't have a point guard that's going to facilitate their offense and get their young sophomores into good spots to score the basketball. Well, I'll tell you, UConn's going to be able to take advantage of that. They didn't even have to bring Josh Carlton off the bench, okay? They put Tyler Poley at the five. They put Isaiah Whaley at the four. It was effective. It was good. I liked it. I liked the speed and tempo. And they're going to do it again. They're going to make me happy. Okay? So, Jim, I'm going up with UConn. I'm taking the minus 22. And on a side note, I'm taking that over also. Are they both going to be official plays for you? No, they are. not Just the UConn minus 22, sir. Minus 22 at minus 110. Minus 22 and minus 110. Now, we have a very interesting situation here. And we're probably going to see it a few times this year. We're seeing it right now. We don't have a line from the official licensed books that we can offer you. Bet365 is yet to pop it out. And FanDuel, DraftKings have yet to pop it out as well. So I'm not entirely sure how we should handle this at this point, Max. Well... The plain and simple truth of the matter is you have to just wait. And when that line hits, you better be within the first five minutes of betting it. Well, at this point, I sadly can't make it an official bet. Although I will be combing these books. And hopefully before I go to sleep tonight, I will be able to make this official. But right now we have unofficial action. This is fun, man. Uh, I think that all the guys who've rolled with us for the last couple of years, Max, that we've been working together, are going to enjoy this even more so, knowing that they're going to be able to stay ahead of the market. And that's something that Max does, and that's why he's a professional gambler who gambles for a living. And it's by doing stuff like this. So uh, from my own statistical standpoint, I love following your numbers and you know tracking your action throughout the year as a fan. And some of these games we're not going to be able to make official, but I, I think the edge that we're on is very exciting. So we know what Max wants. He wants UConn. Maxie, are you going to be on UConn first half as well, or are you going to stick to full game? Yeah, 100%. I'll be jumping on them first half, full game, and the over. That's how I'll play with UConn. But 
for me, I'm going to be looking for when the first line comes out and only for you on first uh, full game? Yes, only on full game for the show's record. All right. Hartford Hawks, UConn Huskies, Max, while smart, bullish on his Huskies. We got two games left. And again, these are games that Max has picked out that he has edges, angles on. And that's how we're going to be doing things. And I love it. 